Hi, welcome back to the second lecture of Easy Programming. I'm Yao and I'm the founder of Build to Master. At Build to Master, we help high school student, students to learn computer programming by building their own project. So Easy Programming is a lecture series that teaches you the basics of computer programming. So in lecture two today, I'll be going through uh, Python and Riplet. I will also I will also share with you two commonly used resources by us programmers. And finally, I'll give out three advices related to uh, learning programming. Okay. Uh, oh, I also want to just let you know that we will be doing very tiny bit of uh, programming today only because uh, my goal is to introduce you to the tool and resources in this lecture. Okay, so let's get started with the first topic, and that is Python and Riplet. Okay guys, I'm really excited that we are actually going to do some programming. Uh, I'm not sure about you, but I am certainly excited myself. So we will be using Python in this lecture series. And why do we use Python? Well, we use it because it is easy to learn, it is easy to use and it is widely adopted across uh, the software engineering field and to be specific we will be using Python 3 in our lectures to start programming in Python um, you will need to use Riplet okay and Riplet is a website that allows you to program Python on their website you don't have to download any Python onto your computer you just program it on your website and this makes it you know really easy to start programming don't you think so okay so here's how I usually uh, access Riplet I go to Google and I search for Python online right and Google returns it as the first search result here so let me show you the first search result here right so let's click into Riplet. Let me zoom out. And here you have it. This is how Riplet looks like. On the left hand side here, this white color panel here is called the editor. Okay. And it allows you to write multiple lines of code and you can run all of the code all at once. So let me show you what I mean here. So let me zoom in. So I'll do and I'll say a y minus x, okay? And I'll hit uh, run, and something this something displayed here, okay? So this is what uh, Riplet is all about. Sorry, this is all. <laughs> this is what the editor is all about, okay? And you see this black space here that we just saw an output coming out from nowhere this is this black space here is called the command prompt and uh, it allows you to run one line or one block of code every single time so every single arrow you can only run one line of code or one block of code so it might not be as useful as the editor but I it has one main advantage and that is it will show you the output of the code immediately okay so you will see the output of the code right away after you hit enter and this makes it and this makes it an attractive feature uh, for programming learners because it makes the whole process transparent and you understand things more quickly that way and unfor and let me show you what I uh, usually so sorry let me show you what how you usually use this command prompt here uh, you could say x equals to 1 and then type in x to see the value of x and you can see when the moment I type in x it shows me the value directly let me do a simple calculation to 2 minus 1 and it shows me the result directly too so every single line of code that is run here, you get to see what is happening, okay? Um, you might be wondering why doesn't this return, why does it return none? 
the reason is you know you don't get any error anything like that and uh, and it's not really tr this command here is not really trying to return anything so it's not don't worry about the details because I'll talk more about it in lecture 3 and this is all that I'll be uh, this is all the programming that I'll be doing in this lecture uh, I'll be doing a bit more later but you know don't expect much okay so let's move on to the next section and I want to share with you two important resources that we need to use if you are going to do program so let me zoom out Oops. <clears throat> and yeah and let's move on to the next section In, in the remaining time that we have, I want to show you resources to help you start learning programming. The first and most important resources when it comes to programming in Python is the Python documentation. Now, the, Py, sorry, do, the documentation is a user manual for programmers. Just like how you know your PC has a user manual, Python has a user manual too. And this user manual is one of the user manual that you cannot just throw away and don't use it. You will have to always come back to it, okay? It's not like those products that you buy uh, out from the supermarket or anything like that. And this documentation basically tells you how to use Python to write your program. So let me show you how to uh, search this uh, doc documentation. What I usually do is I just search for Python doc. And uh, Google returns me tons of results here. Let me zoom in. Okay. And uh, you want to make sure that you are always using the official documentation in any language. You know, it's not just Python, any language. You want to make sure you're using the official documentation. And the official documentation uh, has the URL of docs.python.org. And of course, this is only valid for Python. Other than that, you want to make sure that you're using documentation for Python 3. Okay, Python 3. And not Python 2, like the one here. And the reason is uh, Python 3 and 2 is slightly different. And I just want to point this out, although it's really obvious. Python 3.x.y, anything that you see Python 3.x.y, that means that it is Python 3. Anything that is Python v2.x.y, that means Python 2. Okay? Okay, so back to the reason why you want to use Python uh, resources for Python 3 and not Python 2. And the reason is uh, programming in Python 2 is different from programming in Python 3. Just a bit. But, you know, uh, if you are just a beginner, just stick with Python 3, okay? Because it will just make your life so much easier. So let me zoom out and uh, click on this link. Okay, so here you have it. This is uh, the documentation page. For those uh, that, wants, that want to start programming ahead, uh, you can use this tutorial link here. It contains a lot of information and I'm sure there's something in there that uh, that will help you with it. Um, if you are stuck when programming something and or you're wondering what how to do something, you know this is always a good section to start with too. Other than that, uh, if you are interested in knowing what sort of functionality does Python have, then you want to use this link here, the global module index. So let's click on it and see what we have in here. So as you can see here, there's tons of functionality, tons of them, you know. And if you click on it, there's even more stuff. Just amazing. It's just amazing how many things, how many things are packed into Python. And this is all I wanted to share with you. Uh, for the Python documentation. So now I want to move to a slightly different topic. And uh, and that's about 
you know how to unblock yourself when you are programming when you are programming there are two common obstacles that you will face and the first one are error messages and the second one uh, is a logical mistake error messages happen because uh, there's a mistake that you m made somewhere in your program usually it's a typo uh, sometimes it's because you are passing in the wrong things into uh, into uh, into some functions and we'll talk about functions later on and it will just throw out a read message it will throw a read message and tells you that I don't like it uh, logical mistakes happens when you write your program and it doesn't run the way you want it to run right and those are what I call logical mistakes the best way to solve these two types of issues uh, is to search the problem in Google and look for results from Stack Overflow. So let me just quickly uh, uh, summarize the two types of uh, obstacles. So the two types of obstacles are error message and B, logical mistake. Okay, two types. And the best way to solve these two types of uh, issues, right, is to use uh, results from Stack Overflow. So let me show you an example of how I solve an error message problem. One equals to x. So let me zoom in. So I just type in one equals to x here, and you can see this rate message here, and this is the error message. And uh, as you can see here, one equals to x makes sense in mathematics, but you know, in programming, not quite sure why that isn't working. To make things worse, uh, if you look at this error message here, you know, trace most recent call outs, file Python <laughs> line one. Now the first two lines just doesn't make sense at all. The third line seems that it's trying to talk to you, but I don't know what it's trying to tell me, you know, syntax error can assign to literals. What does that mean? You know, you just couldn't figure out what it mean. means unless, you know, you have maybe three or four years of programming uh, experience. So the way I usually solve this type of issue is to do the following. Let me zoom out. And I will just copy this error message, put it into Python. Oh, sorry, put it into Google and search for it. And as you can see here, um, Google returns a lot of Stack Overflow results, right? And uh, these are the type of results that you want to use to solve your problem. So let's go into Stack Overflow. And this is how it looks like. Okay. So it is the best place to find information on how to solve programming issues. The top part here is the question posted by this user here, okay? And uh, everything else beneath it are the possible answers to this question. So the top answer here usually is the best uh, answer and when you see a check mark it means that someone has used this answer and find help uh, useful although this is the case um, if you find the first one not useful and I have found the first one not useful quite a few times don't ever hesitate to scroll down to read about other answers because sometimes there are pretty good answers uh, beneath as well right and uh, don't hesitate to read the answers below and also don't hesitate to read the comments right sometimes the comments can give you more insight as to uh, what's going on unfortunately I won't have the time to go through and read and see what is the best answer that I can get out from uh, this page here um, and uh, 
I won't be able to show you what exactly is wrong here uh, using Stack Overflow but that's okay because my main goal is to show you how to unblock yourself when you are facing this type of programming issue so uh, I think with this I have uh, I want to do some su summarizing for you so we have gone through two most important resources that you will need to start programming right and the first most important resource so important resource the first one is uh, the Python documentation the second one is stack overflow okay so remember this two useful resource you will need them later on I guarantee okay next I want to give you three advice when you are learning program okay so here are my three advice for learning programming my first advice is um, and maybe let me write this down so my first advice is when you don't understand something or when you encounter obstacles uh, try to perform trial and error okay so my first and my first advice is really to do trial and error so trial and error basically means that when something doesn't work or you don't understand something you try to make a guess of why it doesn't work or what exactly does uh, does it mean and test if you know your guess is correct or not okay and if it does great uh, otherwise repeat but repeat the whole process by making a new guess and testing it again so let me show you an example of how I do this using uh, this example we have here right this one equals to X and let me zoom in so one equals to X so we tried one equals to X and it did not work so I will make I will make a guess that X has to be on the left hand side and not the right hand side right and basically this means that order is important when you try to assign something so it has to be something like this and uh, it's not throwing the error anymore let's see if uh, the value of x is uh, is the right one and yes x is one so this is great so it seems like it did work um, in reality you might have to try multiple times because um, sometimes the first try doesn't work second try doesn't work you just have to keep on trying okay so this is what I mean by trial and error okay oh let me zoom out first so this is what I mean by trial and error so my second advice is to be persist, uh, persistent okay um, initially programming is uh, pretty frustrating because there are a lot of things that you don't know and you don't know how to get around with and you have to believe that you can overcome these issues and uh, be persistent on o overcoming them don't give up easily uh, if you could not solve something um, and you have tried for quite a while you know if you have friends ask your friends uh, friends who are of course doing programming right if you don't then you there's the internet and you can always post a question on stack overflow hopefully someone picks it up and then uh, they will reply uh, your question so my advice is to be persistent okay okay my last advice is um, let go of your of your ego and just focus on mastering pro programming so let go of your ego
and master program okay master really means meaning in this case um, so what do I mean by let go of your ego here a lot of the times ego comes into play when you try to compare yourself with someone else and uh, I have seen a few cases where somebody compare themselves against others and then they just think that they are no longer they are not they are not right for programming and uh, and I don't think that is true right a lot of people nowadays uh, start programming very early some of them have done uh, cool projects even when they are in high school and the reason they can do this is because they have taken they have took the time to really learn programming no one is good at something you know initially of course there are some people who are smarter and some who needs a bit more time when it comes to learning uh, but I believe uh, as long as you spend the right amount of time you will get to the point where you are good at it and really when you're at that point it really doesn't make much of a of a difference okay for example, it took me two full years to fully appreciate programming and to be able to learn on my own. And you know what? Um, even Michael Jordan, the, one of the greatest NBA players, practiced really hard when it comes to uh, basketball, right? And programming is just like basketball. You just have to do a lot of uh, practice. And I think the best way to do practice is to work on a project that you want to be that you want to build so my advice here is to really let go of your ego and focus on learning so these are my three advices and uh, you know I hope that you can bear them in mind and hopefully with that you can be more motivated to learn programming because I think most likely is uh, you might go through halfway, halfway of learning programming and just give up and I hope that this advice could uh, keep you motivated uh, and continue on with your uh, programming journey. So this is all I have for this lecture. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, I know I've been uh, talking a lot. So let me quickly summarize this lecture. I have talked about Python and Riplet. I have shown you two important programming resources and they are the documentation and Stack Overflow. And at the very end here, I give you three advice on learning programming. If you have any suggestions or questions about this lecture, please let me know by you know leaving a comment below or contacting me through uh, our company's website. Next time, we will be learning view programming, and we will start by introducing variables, data types, and operation. So be sure to tune in to our next lecture as always, happy programming and I will see you next time.